Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, it's been a little while. It's been over, well over a week, almost going on two weeks since my last video. Uh, and I just wanted to um, give you guys a little update um, of st most stuff about the site, um, stuff about what I've been playing, what I've been, what I finished. Uh, I got two games here, um, so it's just gonna be a little bit of everything, um, basically. Uh, I'll go through the two games that I've bought in, um, since uh, since my last video. Uh, the first one being Blur um, on the 360. I got it. This was, uh, you know what? This was probably the game that I really wanted to check out the most, but for some reason I checked out uh, Split Second and Mod Nation Racers before this, mostly for just review for review's sake. Um, but this game, I I had like a couple of days left on my uh, on my month with uh, Blockbuster. Or, uh, renting games and stuff with the Game Pass, and uh, they had just cleaned out a lot of their inventory, and it and it actually they they had like nothing left, which is a big reason why I actually canceled my subscription with it. Um, but they had a copy of Blur sitting there, and I was like, you know, what, let me check it out because um, I really enjoyed the uh, what's it called the uh, multiplayer demo, and uh, I've I've just been playing the shit out of this game. Uh, it's it's awesome. Uh, it's probably my favorite game so far this year. Uh, at least just with pure fun wise uh, there's no story and stuff like that but uh, it's it's awesome if you enjoyed the the multiplayer demo definitely pick it up because I mean I haven't even touched a single player I've just been playing the multiplayer like crazy and it just never gets old it's so addictive because you know it's just you play in quick little bursts because you know uh, races only last about maybe two or three minutes and then it's like all right let me just play one more mat one more race one more race one more race and then it has not only that but it, it the multiplayer offers the the same type of leveling up system as, as Call of Duty, and uh, so you know the more you play, the more XP you get, the higher levels you go up, the more stuff you unlock, you get new perks, you you get you know you you can change your loadout. So if you want to be more aggressive, you do more aggressive uh, upgrades and stuff like that. So even past just unlocking cars, and they're all real cars, which is something I really did not like about Split Second. They're all real cars, um, so you'll just keep unlocking, unlocking, unlocking. And uh, it's awesome. And actually, also, which I think this should um, always come with with multiplayer type games. Um, when you start off, you're on, you're allowed. I mean, you're allowed to go into just regular skirmishes, but then you can stay with with all other beginners. So there's there's just it's called race school, and um, basically it's just it's just one ranks versus ten ranks. You know, in that little in that um, you know area of 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 uh, levels or whatever. I, I can't really think of what I'm trying to say, but in that in that area uh, you know you can just you just play against those those other types of beginners so you're not playing against people who are level 40 50 ish um, but then once you're done with that you're allowed to go play in different uh, match match types and it's just it's just really addicting I can't really say that much more about it um, it's basically like you know uh, Mario Kart with real cars and it's a lot faster um, and then the other game I just picked up today, I don't, I really have no idea anything about it. I think, T I don't know if TV and Lust, he just did his Dreamcast, oh, it's, it's Time Stalkers, uh, on the Dreamcast. I really have no idea about this. I think he may have talked about it, and I'm gonna go back and check. But, um, I, looking from the back, it kinda looks like an RPG. And I can use another RPG on the Dreamcast, I just have Skies of Arcadia. Um, and this was just sitting there, the, the, the play and trade that I went to had a, had a, good number of Dreamcast games. One of them, I have a few in my area, and some of them have good ones, some of them have nothing, uh, so it's really hit or miss, but um, I had to go get my oil changed today in my car, so this was, so I was right over there, so I picked it up. It was only five bucks, and uh, it has cool uh, cover art, so hopefully it's hopefully it's decent. Um, but there was another game there that he highly recommended that I was planning on getting, but I didn't get, um, so I'll probably go back there soon. It's actually a pretty good uh, play and trade. They also offer, if you're a member, I don't know if all of them do this, and if, if they do, please let me know, because then I'll probably go to one that's closer to me, because this one's about 20 minutes away. Uh, and what they offer, if you're a member, it's $10 to join, and you can rent games then for $5 for a week or $12 for a month. If you decide to buy it, they take the $5 off or the $12 off the regular price, which is pretty cool. So you're not paying $5, then plus another 60 you know, whatever. The game ends up costing you around seventy bucks, so uh, I'm thinking about doing that, um, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna ask if, if you know if a game does suck, uh, or if I don't, I'm just not into it, or whatever. If I can come back and exchange it and get something else, or do I, you know, is it five dollars for the week unlimited, or, or what is it? I'm guessing it's just for the week for the one game, like Blockbuster does, but 
We'll see. But for five dollars, it's pretty good, especially when Blockbuster charges you like ten, and then like there's like nine dollars plus a dollar restocking fee, which is just ridiculous. But enough about that. I'm about halfway through this video already. Um, I've also uh, I beat Alan Wake, and it was awesome. It was a fantastic game. If you're on the fence about it, definitely pick it up. It's scary. It's it's just creepy. It had a, a decent story. Uh, you know, it's got a lot going for it, and uh, you know. Some people probably won't like it because there's this. It's it's broken in some areas, but everybody that I've talked to has enjoyed it. Um, so I beat that, and then I traded in, and then I traded in that. I traded in uh, Afro Samurai and Mag, because uh, GameStop was doing their extra fifty percent off. So I was like, you know, let me just trade some stuff in that I'm not playing, so I can get Blur, uh, and that worked out. And I had a couple dollars left over, so that's that. Uh, that's basically all I've been playing. Uh, I kind of um, slowed down on Red Dead, but I'll have to go back to that. I've also been playing NHL 10. Um, oh, and also Doom and Wolfenstein 3D on Xbox Live Arcade. I've had a lot of time on my hands because I got suspended from work. It's a long story. Um, but um, So that's what I've been playing and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to probably be buying a Wii in the next week or two. I want to see what they have, what Nintendo has for E3. But uh, other than that, I just really want to get Super Mario Galaxy 2. I really want that game. So I'll probably pick one of those up. I'll do a video of that of the unboxing. I'm trying to, I'm holding, I went to the other day, but my Best Buy only had the white ones, and I kind of want to hold out for the black one. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But other than that, um, to the site, we have, uh, you know, some new stuff up. We have, uh, we have a review of Alpha Protocol. I don't know if we had that up the last time. I don't think so. Um, so we have that. Uh, let me just go to it really quick. Uh, we have a new uh, podcast episode up. It was, it was just very E3 heavy. So we have that. We have the, our, the whole staff did our top five games we're looking forward to for E3, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have a flashback Friday for Power Stone 2. Um, we're, we're doing more news now, so we have the story on Dreamcast games coming to 360 and PS3. Uh, the new Mortal Kombat game that was announced. So we have a lot of stuff coming uh, you know, on the site, and we really hope you guys check it out. Uh, we have been getting good numbers. Uh, our goal for this, this month is 2,000 hits. Uh, we, we came about 150 short of that last year, of last um, month, but we're we're doing pretty well so far, but we're gonna have on Monday, Thursday, or is it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? I think is E3. Uh, we're gonna be live blogging um, during the day. Uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna try and do a podcast, mini podcast at the end of each day. Uh, no promises on that, but we will definitely be live blogging. So uh, please uh, check out the, the site. We're gonna be updating it obviously whenever something breaks. Um, there's gonna be a lot going on. So if you guys can, as always, check it out. Check that out. Join the Facebook group. I'll link it. Uh, follow us on Twitter, do whatever you gotta do to, to really help us out, because that'd be awesome. Uh, we really wanna, we wanna make this something good, and, um, you know, obviously we're not in the industry, so it's a, it's a good little website to check out for people who aren't in the industry who just enjoy playing video games. Um, but that's it. Uh, I've also, with my free time, have been uh, reading Stephen King's Misery, a really good book. And uh, that's it. I can't really think of anything else to talk about. <coughs> Excuse me. If I buy anything else, I'll let you guys know. Obviously, if I do get a Wii, I'll definitely do an unboxing of it. I'll probably use my phone because I haven't used my phone for a uh, for a video quite yet. Um, but that's it. So I'll see you guys later.